This is Peaceful Tranquility Realized, and I am Michael Wilson. We're going to focus on the wrists and uh, using them in chaturanga. Chaturanga is a low plank. So we're going to go through some movement from downward dog, um, using the knee, driving the knee forward for hanging pigeon, and just moving back and forth, just getting some mobility. This segment is for getting the stiff joints to move fluid. Don't forget to drink plenty of water and get out there and take a walk, run, jog. Let's get started. Let's come to the knees and uncurl the toes for a moment and sit back on the hips. And we're gonna wake the wrists up, bringing the wrists or the hands down to the mat, bringing them parallel to the knees. And we're going to push forward, stretching the wrists, leaning forward just slightly, listen to your body. And now we're going to flip them over. Same here, but we're going to lean back, maybe uncurl the toes and bring your hips close to your, your toes. And I'm going to show you guys this in front, hands or fingertips away from each other. and. First inhale and exhale, leaning side to side. And relax the shoulders and try not to let your shoulder blades come together. Just like plank, you wanna push through the chest, keeping the arms straight and the elbows towards the feet. And a little shake. Notice how I'm using my, knee, my elbows in a circle just a quick stretch, keeping the arms straight, relaxing the shoulders. We're still taking full breaths, breathing with the moves that we're doing. And we're gonna stretch all these groups together, stretching the arms back, interlacing the fingers and bringing the arms up. Make sure you're dropping the shoulders Relax. If you feel the need to lean forward, lean backward. And we're coming to our hands, fingers away from the body. And I would say this is a half wedge, no feet. So if you, you want to get wedged really good, make sure you're pushing the hips up. And a little counter. for child's pose. Taking your time here. Breathing the abdomen against the thighs. Taking a deep inhale coming up. And we're gonna go for a high plank ser uh, sequence. So just take your time here. And we're gonna curl the toes and lift enough for plank, wide leg or close, pushing back and forth. I would say inhale back and exhale forward to find the dynamic movement, stretching the legs out when you push forward for plank. And take your time, you can go as slow or as fast as you want. Here I'm just showing you how to twist the elbows back towards the feet. Pushing that the shoulder blades away from each other. And we're gonna do hanging pigeon or moving hanging pigeon. So three times here. Push back and forth. Same here. Breathing is an exhale forward, inhale back. If that breathing sequence doesn't work for you, you can always exhale back and inhale forward.
Taking it easy and interlace the fingers behind you. Knees bent and when you're ready, stretch those arms out right over the shoulders. The half headstand is really for the shoulders, but we're slightly reversing the flow of the blood from the hips on down. Dropping the hips to the heels, uncurling the toes for sphinx. And moving on, you can stay there as long as you want. Keeping the head up, dropping the shoulders. And we're gonna go for another sequence. Bring that right leg up, bringing the knee straight to the chest, tightening the abdomen, exhaling at the end. for that low lunge, stretching that left leg straight, pushing the heel back, and we're gonna bring the left foot to meet the right. Take your time, four fold here, bring the forehead to the thighs. You have an option of bringing the hands behind the thighs. Gonna lift up with the inhale fully all at the top, and exhale, bring the hands down. And inhale. Preparing for the left side. Downward facing. And we're gonna bring this knee all the way to the front. Tightening the abdomen at the end. And again, framing that foot there, stretching that right leg, try to drop the hips as much as possible, especially when rocking. And pushing that right hand, right leg to meet the left, inhaling up, all the way at the top, and exhale, hands down. Swan dive coming down and stretching on out there and right to right foot to meet the left downward facing and a little shuffle of the legs and right leg up we're gonna bring that knee right over the elbow three times exhaling tightening the abdomen at the end Now let's do the same thing on the left. Bring that knee right over the elbow. And make sure the head is in line with the back. Dropping that foot. And we're gonna push forward for low plank from high plank, otherwise known as chaturanga for up to our cobra, holding it there, dropping the shoulders, and get those hands right under the shoulders, stretching the arms out, or maybe a slight bend, it's up to you. And let's go on and curl those toes, stretching the legs up, and keeping the hips low. Feel the strength. I like to rock back and forth. And push them back to downward facing. Let's come to our knees. And let's go in and stretch those shoulders for half eagle. Usually we would be standing, crossing the legs like that. So the arms and the legs together. Let's just, just focusing in on the shoulders, bringing the shoulder blades away from each other. And just pulling the arms away and switching arms. If the right was on the top, make sure the left is on the top. And here we go for the last sequence, which I could never, I've never heard of this being named, but I'm gonna call it threading the needle, which is really good for the shoulders. It's also a spinal twist. So you can drop this shoulder Stretch that hand out and the left hand goes over. And for a variation, you also 
can bring the hand behind the back, grabbing on the thigh. Continue the breathing, letting the abdomen expand on the inhale and contract on the exhale. ready stretch the hand out nice and slow right over the ear and slide the hand back right in front of the face take your time pushing up and stretch that arm out there looking at your thumb opening the chest and let's go for the other side left hand up thread in the needle make sure you're coming slowly gently on the shoulder stretching that arm out as long as you can, you can get it over your ear and kind of looking towards the sky. Be sure not to strain your neck. So wherever you are, just be comfortable there and until you feel that you can move on. And yeah, you can bring the hand to the back palm out or if you have some mobility in the, the shoulder there, grab your hip. Right now I'm struggling with, with my shoulder, right shoulder, and left wrist. So today was kind of a thing, strength in the wrist. And be sure to watch these videos as many times as you can. Thanks for watching. You take care now. And your subscribes uh, really help. Thanks for watching.